Congressman, what does it take to get change in this country to address what we are seeing, uh, the gun violence in America? Well, we've, it only takes us to make up our mind that change is going to have to happen now. I mean, this is such a horrific incident, such a tragic incident. Not even children, 20, 20 kids uh, are safe in their classroom, that it must stir the heart of the nation. But I got to tell you, Ed, I remember my friend Gabby Gifford was shot down and her constituents were killed. We thought that would stir the nation. It, apparently, we haven't seen any real action uh, in, in Congress since then. There are heroes, though, and I don't want you to get the impression that nobody in Congress is fighting for change. Oh, I know. You know Carol There's McCarthy, just not enough of them. Carol McCarthy, that's right. But I'm going to tell you this, though. We're not afraid of the NRA. We're there to, con we're ready to confront them. And we have uh, legislation that we want to see taken up that would ban high-capacity clips, cut off the, uh, the gun show loophole, and have mandatory background checks. These are reasonable things. And we need the American people to insist from the White House on down that we take these pieces of legislation up immediately and that we pass them and that we confront anyone, these, these Second Amendment extremists who think that any kind of sane, sure. sensible gun legislation uh, is some sort is going to take guns away, which and, is and, ridiculous. And gentlemen, I need to point out, Mothers Against Drunk Driving made it uncool to drive drunk. And, right. You know, smoking, of course, is uh, now ruled as uncool in society. But what is it going to take to change the gun culture in America? Dr. Dyson, uh, in black communities in this country, in poorer neighborhoods in this country, we are seeing uh, the penetration of guns and ruining lives. And now we're at elementary schools. I mean, what do, we, right. ha what do we have to do? This is, a, this is a culture now of violence. Yeah, but you see, you know, drinking and smoking didn't have attached to them the immediacy of a constitutional amendment that would support their ostensible uh, their ostensible advocates. So when you got this gun lobby, it's so deep and so profound. And I thank uh, Congressman Ellison for reminding us that there are those who are thank heroic you, in Congress who will stand up. But the reality is that that gun lobby is so deep, their pockets are so profound, and they've got the ability yeah. to bully people that uh, we've got to stand up to them and say, look, this is enough. It happens at every level. It in white communities and black communities and brown communities and Latino right. communities and Asian communities, we've got to deal with it in America because it's an American problem. Seven NFL you know, players, I, think, yeah. I just want to point out to you, Congressman, that seven mm -hmm. NFL players surrendered their weapons this week in the wake of the Kansas City Chiefs murder suicide. Mm -hmm. uh, this was, of course, was, to them. well, your response to that. This was in, of course, before the shooting that took place this morning. I mean, is it going to take that kind of leadership to wake this country up? Yes, it is going to take that kind of leadership. It's going to take congressional leadership, White House leadership, but also citizen leadership. Like you said, you know, you can change culture. We've changed culture in this nation. And when NFL football players are saying, you know what, I really don't need this gun around, and I'm giving it up, that is the kind of symbolic gesture that might provoke others to do the same thing. You know, and there are, there are uh, folks out there, uh, Americans, uh, who are sick and tired of this just, uh, this promiscuous violence. You know, you pointed out a great statistic, which is over 180 school shooting incidents since Columbine. But I mean, there've been about 31, I mean, there's been over 61 multiple homicide incidents uh, uh, as well that don't involve schools and are go beyond schools. Yeah. This is a culture. We've got to change it. All right. Congressman Keith Ellison of Minnesota and Michael Eric Dyson, great to have you with us tonight, Professor. Thank you, Appreciate sir. it Thanks, so Ed. much. More on today.